Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Laura Collins promised to name Jordan Ashford her permanent deputy mayor, right before Cyrus Renault interrupted the General Hospital spoilers for Friday, November 17. Laura was surprised to find that Cyrus had gotten a job washing dishes at the Port Charles Grill. Laura eventually persuaded Cyrus to leave, and Jordan stated that she didn't think Cyrus would settle for a life as a dishwasher. Jordan, on the other hand, had had enough of Cyrus and agreed to stay on as deputy mayor rather than resume her work as Port Charles Police Commissioner. Robert Scorpio expressed his concerns to Felicia Scorpio about Anne Devane shutting him out at GH, but Felicia thought that Anna needed to find her own way past what occurred with Charlotte Cassadine. When Spencer Cassadine arrived at the dorm, Jocelyn Jacks welcomed him in and commented on how extravagant Spencer's apology flower arrangements had been. Jocelyn took advantage of the fact that Trina Robinson was not present to give Spencer advice about Trina, Essen Prince, and Ace Cassadine. This couldn't be like Spencer when he was a youngster and refused to accept anything less than all he desired. Spencer had to make a decision this time, and Jocelyn clearly thought he should go with Trina. Meanwhile, Curtis and Marshall Ashford counseled Trina on how to approach Spencer honestly and tell him she'd hit her limit. Trina realized, with the support of Marshall and Curtis, that Spencer was the most important connection in her life, and she wanted to find out if it was the same for him. Willa Corinthos invited Michael Corinthos into Kelly's so Carly Spencer could inform him about Nina Corinthos' offer to sell her half of the Metro court. Michael remembered pleading with Nina to make that offer before Willow believed it was the best way to restore their family. Carly turned refused Michael's offer of money and felt she had to turn down Nina as well. Carly remarked that as badly as she wanted her hotel back, it wouldn't feel like hers as she couldn't acquire it on her own. Sunny Corinthos had supper with Nina at the Metro Court and challenged her about why she wanted to sell Carly her portion of the Metro Court. Nina pretended it was a means to move on from the past, but Sonny questioned why she didn't inform him. Although Nina maintained it was all business and had nothing to do with Sonny, he assumed it was a family affair. Sonny appreciated Nina being the greater person and attempting to make peace in the end. Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, met with Dante Falconeri at the PCPD and asked for immunity in exchange for the identity of his boss. Austin pointed out that going there was a danger because his boss might find out, and if that happened before his boss was arrested, Austin insisted he was a dead man. Because Austin refused to testify in court, Dant pointed out that he'd need other evidence. Dant encouraged Austin to provide the proof and then go to the DA about a deal after Austin claimed he could. Austin reminded Dante that he wasn't a bad guy and that he had been forced to do a lot of awful things. Now that Dante was giving Austin the chance to finally do the right thing, he showed his thanks. Later, Dante informed Robert that Austin was eager to provide his boss's name and confirming evidence, so Robert agreed to an immunity arrangement. Austin opened the door to the residence in Potuck and expressed surprise at who was standing there off-screen. The unknown shooter, who was wearing what seemed to be men's dress shoes, shot Austin twice and left him motionless on the floor with a bloodied chest. According to General Hospital spoilers, there will be more twists and turns as many storylines heat up, so stay tuned for more information on all the upheaval. General Hospital spoilers reveal that on November 17, the show presented a genuinely surprising Friday cliffhanger that left fans with a lot of concerns. Austin Gatlin Holt was shot twice after arriving home, but GH writers left viewers in the dark about who fired the shots. Of course, there are a few hints to consider. To begin with, we can't ignore the timing, as Austin was on the cusp of ratting out Cyrus Renault and giving over critical evidence that would have gotten him locked up again. If Cyrus found out about the plan, he might have sent someone to completely remove Austin from the picture. 
After all, Cyrus had given Austin a message warning him not to be foolish because it may be fatal. When Austin arrived at Austin's residence, the person who would turn out to be the gunman was already there. When Austin went in, he seemed more bewildered than terrified, and he wondered what this individual was doing there. According to Austin's reply, Cyrus did not appear to be doing his own dirty work. If Cyrus was to blame, he would have delegated the task to someone else. GH fans are aware that Anna Devane and Sonny Corintho's storylines have been intertwined in recent months. Perhaps there's a purpose behind this, especially since the name Jameson Forsyth has been mentioned. Forsythe is an old WSB foe of Anna's, and he appears to have stolen all of the incriminating material from Anna's new apartment. Because a pair of what seemed to be men's dress shoes were revealed in that episode, it's possible Forsyth also burned down Anna's residence. It's also worth noting that a pair of men's dress shoes were seen leaving Austin's residence after he was found bloodied on the floor. Is Forsyth also tied to Cyrus, and is he to blame for Austin's death? Nicholas Cassadine, who previously resided with Austin at that place, could be another shooter potential. Nicholas could be working with Cyrus, who made sure he had all he needed to recuperate completely. That could be the start of an alliance that Laura Collins, Jenny Francis, is sure to despise. This might also pave the way for a more evil Nicholas to return to Port Charles at some point, so it'll be interesting to see how everything plays out. According to General Hospital spoilers, Austin's shooter will be revealed eventually, so stay tuned for more shocking news. According to General Hospital teasers, Maxie Jones may still be determined to play matchmaker. Anyone can see the flames flowing between Sasha Gillimore and Cody Bell, so Maxie hopes they'll both get out of their own way and allow a relationship to blossom. Sasha and Cody express their feelings for each other, but Sasha believes the moment isn't right. Sasha feels she needs to take the time now to genuinely grieve Liam and Brando Corbin because she never had the time to fully process her loss. Cody is willing to wait as long as Sasha is ready for a future with him. Even if that day never arrives, Cody stated that he is content with the hope Sasha has brought to his life. Maxie, on the other hand, may receive updates on Sasha applying the brakes and conclude that Sasha is simply afraid of getting hurt. Perhaps Maxie will believe that Sasha merely needs a gentle shove to submit to her feelings for Cody and eventually take a major stride forward with him. Cody and Sasha will face some awkwardness during the week of November 20-24 to because someone will ask if they're a relationship. Dating questions will be thrown around, leaving Sasha and Cody both wondering what it might be like to date. Maxie may decide that there's no reason to speculate when Cody and Sasha are so into each other. Maxie may have set up a passion trap for Sasha and Cody after hinting about Deception's great intentions for them. Cody hopes to give Sasha some professional space, but that plan may be dashed by some of Maxie's impending moves. Maxie may create a personal crisis in addition to pressuring Cody and Sasha to work together again. Maxie might easily play Cupid and deceive the couple into going on their first actual date, which could lead to Sasha and Cody succumbing to temptation. According to General Hospital spoilers, Maxie will strive to be a good friend and move things ahead, so stay tuned for updates on Cody and Sasha's romance. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.